second lesson in Apple Watch app development. In this lesson, we're going to be covering outlets and actions. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So an outlet and action, the two concepts are very important for general development on Apple Watch and also for iPhone apps. So let's start with outlets. So an outlet is, as the name and kind of implies, a way that we can hook up something in our code to something that we can see. So what the heck does that mean? So let's actually start with an example, as I think that's the best way we're going to learn. So in this uh, file here, which is our interface storyboard, we're going to focus on this right here, which is empty, right? And we're going to hit this button up here, and we're going to drag on a button. Cool. So we have this button here. Now, imagine in our code, we wanted to change the title of this. And instead of having this say button, we wanted it to say tap me. So of course, we can do that right here by just clicking on it and editing it. But what if we wanted that to happen once something uh, occurred, an event happened? So let's say you tapped it. And after you tapped it, we wanted to say tapped. Well, to reference this button in your code, we're going to create an outlet for it. An outlet, you can imagine, like a outlet for a power cord in your house, is the concept of connecting something visual here to a variable in our code. So let's actually go ahead and do that. So let's head to our interface controller.swift. Each interface controller represents a screen on our Apple Watch app. So we're going to create up here an outlet. An outlet, and you can create it by doing IB outlet like so it's a variable you're going to give it your own name and you're going to say it's of type UI sorry not UI button but rather WK interface button so this is basically watch kit interface button now we have this outlet here and we've added this exclamation mark to let the program know that we are guaranteeing that this actually exists because we're going to go ahead into our interface file here and we're going to connect that bit of code to the actual button here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to right click over here the thing that owns that button. And what I mean by own is wherever you typed it into. So we typed it into interface controller. So we're going to right click this and boom, look at that. We have our button in here, my button. So we're going to connect this little circle here to our button, like so. And there's a connection. So let's actually run our app by going up here, selecting this middle one, and making sure we pick one of these options, which is an iPhone plus an Apple Watch. And we're going to hit this play button and give it just a second. And while it's building our project, we're going to head back to this interface controller. and. To stick with the example of what we want to happen to the button once it's clicked, we, we're going to basically code that example here with a very little amount of code in just a second. So while that simulator is loading, let's start talking about actions. So an action similar to an outlet is the concept of some action occurring when you when a user interacts with something in the interface environment. So a good example that's easy to follow is what happens when you select this button? On my Apple Watch, when I tap this button, I want something to happen, right? So the way we do that is we want to fire a function. So we see these functions here, which is part of this template that Xcode has given us. We are going to create another function so we're going to prefix it with IB action and we're going to call it, make a function and we're going to call it button tapped. And when the button gets tapped, we want to do something. Let's just print out some text for now. So similarly, how do we actually go and connect the button tap this function to the actual physical user tapping the button? In our interface builder, we can again right click the thing that owns that action and drag it 
to the thing that we want to fire that event, which is our button. Cool, it's connected. While we were going over this, our simulator has launched, and we can see here, it's just asking us to allow some things so we can start the app. Here's our app, and we can see that we have this button. And right now when we tap it, nothing happens. Now, before we linked up this function, so now let's rerun this application by pausing this and starting this again. And you'll see in just a second, when we tap on the button, we're going to get some text printed out in Xcode here, as we define in the function. So if we tap it, if we move this over, ooh, let's move this guy over, and we can see we have some text there. So every single time we click on this button, we get that print. But what if we want to change the button from tapped initially? Let's call this tap me. And every time, the, the first time the user taps it, we should change the text of this to tapped. Because we have an outlet and an action, when this action occurs, we can edit stuff about this outlet. When I say stuff, I mean attributes. The text of the button is considered an attribute. So in, so in our function, what we can do is we can say, my button, let's set your title and let's call it tapped. So once this action occurs, we're going to set the button's title to say tapped. So let's stop this one more time and rerun our app. And you'll see the first time the button will say tap me. And once we click it, it'll change to tapped. Give it a second to load. And we have this here. We're going to click on this button and it changed to tapped. So I hope that helps you understand what IB actions and IB outlets are. They are a very important concept in general Apple Watch development and even other development. To recap, an outlet is a connection from a bit of code to something in your user interface. An action is a function that you connect to an event trigger in your user interface. We demonstrated this through a outlet for a button and a action respectively that fires once that button is tapped. I hope you found this lesson informative and I will see you in the next lesson. Thanks.